Hi. Hi, I'm Neil Snyder. Thanks for joining me for another Snyder Talk video commentary. Today I want to talk to you about um, a few verses in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. I want to take a look at Elijah's confrontation with the prophets of Baal. Some people say Baal, but it's actually Baal. There were about 450 prophets of Baal and 400 prophets of the Asherah. And, um, and Elijah challenges these prophets and he says, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If Yahweh is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. In verse 20, that was verse 21, uh, 1 Kings 18, 21. In verse 24, um, Elijah says, then you, then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of Yahweh. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. And all the people answered and said, that's a good idea. Here we have a situation where uh, Elijah is challenging these prophets, and there's a crowd around, and they're watching. And, and so Elijah said, okay, if you think Baal is really God, then we're going to call on him to rain down fire from heaven and consume uh, a, a sacrifice with fire. And then I'm going to do that with Yahweh, and we'll see what happens. The people stand around and say, hey, that's pretty good. Sounds great. Well, imagine, they were, they were it's like a circus for them. They were getting to watch a, a show. But Elijah must have been sent on this mission by Yahweh. It was probably a divine mission. And so we have a situation where Elijah, um, the prophets of Baal, do their thing, and they chant, and they rant and they rave and they cut themselves and do all sorts of things, but nothing happens. But if you look at verse 32, Elijah builds his altar, uh, stacks the wood up, digs a trench, pours water all over it to make it uh, hard to, to ignite, and then calls down uh, fire from heaven. Yahweh rains fire down and, and consumes the, the, uh, the offering plus the wood, and he just dries up all the water. And Elijah had a great victory that day over the prophets of Baal and the prophets of the Asherah. There's power in the name of Yahweh. But do you know what happened right after that? Of course, there was rain. But immediately after that, Elijah ran for his life because he was afraid of Jezebel, the queen of Israel at the time, Ahab's wife. She was a Baal worshiper, a Baal worshiper. And uh, she had threatened to kill Elijah. And what was his response? He ran for his life. The, the God, Yahweh, the one who rained fire from heaven, would have protected him then too. Don't you know he protects us? Don't you know he'll protect us no matter what we do as long as we're following him? The secret is finding uh, Yahweh's plan for your life, knowing what Yahweh wants you to do. But once you know, you ought to go ahead and do it without fear, fear of anything. Now, that doesn't mean that we won't experience pain and suffering because many times the things we do when we follow Yahweh bring us pain and suffering. Uh, take, for example, Joseph. He went to jail in Egypt. Uh, Daniel was thrown in a lion's den. Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in a fiery furnace. But Yahweh protected all of them. You can't worry about consequences. Once you know what Yahweh wants you to do, you need to go do it without fear. The strong man, the brave Elijah, who relied on Yahweh, in his confrontation with the prophets of Baal, should have relied on Yahweh and the confrontation he was about to have with Jezebel. We can have confidence in Yahweh too. Keep that in mind. There's power in the name of Yahweh. Let's don't forget that. Thanks for joining me for another Snyder Talk video commentary, and I hope you'll join me again soon.